So here we are at Simon the Tanner house. The location is still here and according to the ancient tradition, it's not it. It's right here. This is what we should be looking for. Oh. According to Rhoda's research, it's not here. <laughs> in the ancient Jaffa. This place has been here for three and a half thousand years, all the way from the Egyptian conquest to Hellenistic period, to the Israelites that lived here, Solomon that used to bring wood from Lebanon through Tyre, and then all the way times of Jesus when Peter came from this city and went to Caesarea to see Cornelius, and then all the way to our time. It's full of history, full of excavations, and we're going to explore it today. The cool thing about the marina here, it's called Via de Maris, and this was the way of trade, the port that was used from the Egyptian empires to bring goods here and from here to the empires in the north of the Babylonian and the Assyrian. So it's a very important place and whoever ruled this land in history had a huge economical benefit of ruling the trade and what's happening in the trade here. So it's a very strategical place in uh, geography and economy. There are two traditions that tell us where Peter stayed. If you remember the book of Acts, where Peter stayed with Simon the Tanner in Jaffa, right before he went to Caesarea to talk to Cornelius. Behind these very walls, according to the Catholic tradition, is where Simon the Tanner lived and where Peter stayed. On top of this place, they built a Catholic church called St. Peter's. But there is the more ancient tradition that tells us that Simon the Tanner's house is about five minutes walk from here. And that's where we're going next. Martin's hat. So here we are at House of Simon the Tanner. Wow. So they build a mosque behind it on the same ground. And there is an Arabic inscription at the top. Honey, can you help me read? What does it say over there? It's hard to read it. It's unclear. So this is the place where Peter had the vision of the blanket with all the animals and God declared it kosher, which was the beginning of time that the gentle church was grafted in. So right after it, it goes to Caesarea, to Cornelius. Who is? A Gentile, a Roman. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe it's not open, we're right here. Imagine Peter here, up there in a trance or sleeping and Jaffa was also the place where Jonah, the prophet, came to to take a boat in order to flee from the face of God. God told him, he commanded him to go to Nineveh, but instead he disobeyed and he went to Tarshish. And because he disobeyed God, God sent the big fish and the storm and the sailors, they threw him off the boat and then the big fish uh, swallowed him and after three days he was released and we all know the story that eventually he, do he does go to Nineveh and uh, they believe him and they repent. So we have uh, that big fish right behind me. It is just a fossil today. And I think Sergio is petting it. Did you actually put that in your mouth? <laughs> All right, that's the rock. And Mr. Johnny Boy 1965, is the one who's gonna get it because he's the first one to say I want the rock in the commentaries. 
That's awesome. And the cool part about it is that Mr. Johnny Boy 1965 so is from Australia. How long does it take to get package to Australia, Fifi? Must be long. So he actually collects rocks. And fossils. And fossils. So he's gonna appreciate this rock. And some of you might ask, why do we need the rock from Galilee? See, I mean, what's the point, right? It's just a rock. Well, think about the witness opportunity here. Imagine you got this rock on, on a shelf, right? And then somebody comes in and says, why do you have a rock on a shelf? And you've got an opportunity to say, well, that's not just a rock. That's a rock from the Lake of Galilee, right, Fifi? Do you know what happened in the Lake of Galilee? And then you've got an opportunity to share them what happened in the Lake of Galilee and who Jesus is. All right, so we got this package ready for Mr. Johnny Boy 1965. And now this is for the watchman on the wall for Fifi. Maybe next time.